What's up, people? Welcome back to Under a Thousand Podcast on my YouTube channel, GP Snakes. Uh, if you're new to the podcast, this is, well, channel, this is where I talk to other YouTube reptile keepers of different reptiles and get to know them a little better, introduce them to my subscribers, get introduced to their subscribers, you know, a little bit of networking, a little bit of me getting out of my show and talking to people, and a little bit of entertainment for you guys, asking some interesting questions for people that might be thinking about starting their own YouTube channel are just reptile questions in general about other people, you know, just to get to know each other a little bit. You know, we're a big community and we got to get to know each other and it's a great way to do it. But uh, I know we already got some comments in here, so let's check them out. Celtic Reptiles, what's up? Thanks for coming. Pack Pythons, what's up? Thanks for coming through. Yes, appreciate you guys coming through. But before we bring on our guest, uh, let's go ahead and say... Thanks to our sponsor for this episode. Here we go. So this episode is sponsored by Kundalini Serpents. Yes, Kundalini Serpents is a ball python breeder. Uh, he has amazing animals. He's working with the VPI Exantic and Clown. He has VPI Exantic Clowns. He's also working with Monarch. Definitely go check him out. He's got Monarch G-Stripes, actually. Just drop some. Go check out his channel. His link will be in the description to his YouTube and his Instagram. Go over there. Tell him I said I sent you. Check out his videos. He's new on YouTube, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Let him know, feel the love, and all that. Appreciate you guys, and I appreciate him for sponsoring this episode. Uh, Yeah, so without further ado, let's bring on our guest for this episode. You've seen him already. He was the first guest on my under a thousand pod and i am excited to have him back again so without further ado let's go what's up rashad (laughs) caught you mid drink what's up up (laughs) what's up thanks for coming back again greatly appreciate it uh how you doing today man i'm good brother how are you I'm good. Got off work. Weekend. Time to get it popping. No, I'm joking. I ain't doing nothing but cleaning poop. You work like something else, man. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. So we brought you back on because the first time we had some technical difficulties. We had some technical difficulties. I I got... Wait. wait. We had what? I said said we, I meant I, I mm-hmm. had technical technical difficulties. Technical I can't say that word, so I'm not going to say it again. So Clearly, okay. it. That's what I was don't getting at. Yeah, I understand what you was getting at, but I was trying to move past it because we're friends and I'm trying to keep us friends, but you're making it very difficult. You're making it very difficult. <laughs> oh, what's up? We got people in the chat. I'm trying to do this hosted thing. I'm still getting on top of it. Morph Nation, what's up, brother? Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. High Desert Pythons. Yo, what's up? Thanks for coming through. Uh, yeah, if you're in the chat, definitely hit that like button and then throw some words in the chat. Let us know you're here. Appreciate you guys coming by, hanging out with us for this little bit of time, enjoying our company. Uh, but yeah, hit us in the chat. Let us know you're here. Appreciate you and hit the like button. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Jimmy J, hey, Jimmy, team, hey, oh, man. Man. that's right, we already that's started. Right. Already. That's right. Team Ultraman. That's right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's right. We have barely even started this live. I, I like, I like Jimmy Jim already. I don't even know him. What's up, Jimmy Jim? <laughs> I, I will follow you ASAP. <laughs> team Ultraman. I love it. Oh, love wow. It. Just so you guys know, I am not Team Ultraman or Team Monarch. Neither one. I like them both. I will have both in my collection. 100%. So I'm both teams. I'm Team both. Hashtag that. Team both. <laughs> I feel Rashad don't feel that's okay. I think it's 100% okay. Uh, <laughs> so you know how we do this. We have questions. Uh, before we get into questions, I have to put the little tickers up to let people know to hit that uh, subscribe button and all that stuff. And I'm looking for it while I'm talking, if you didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're not following to wait. If you're not following 212 Exotics, see, I got it right that time. I was going to say 212. It's 212. 212 Exotics. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go follow him on YouTube. And while you're doing all this following, go follow him on your Instagram as well. He's on Facebook, too, so hit that button as well. 
I know he would greatly appreciate it because he's trying to get them numbers up and he appreciates all the love. Um, For sure. And I just got back. So, yeah. And he just got back. Oh, I forgot. The, I buried the lead. He's back on YouTube, y'all. Go check it out. He just, he's bought. Did you post your roast video yet? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, you didn't watch it. it. No, I did watch it because I had cool. your, I had your trailer in my head and I was just thinking about that and I totally blanked on the video, but I watched it. I commented on the video. Who are you talking about? Did I comment on the video? Hold on. Let me think about that before I say it. I think I did. I think I did. I'm terrible yeah. at comment on videos. I'm not going to lie to you. But I watched it because you showed the uh, the babies you hatched out, which looked really good, really amazing, that you've already sold. <laughs> the first question. <laughs> <laughs> So you you need to give people a chance to get them because you made them so fast. It's like ah, oh, they out the window. <laughs> but and then you had uh, you had your second clutch that you're working on feeding. They're almost they're almost all sold too, aren't they? Well, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight or so. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Pack Pythons, team both. I hashtagged it. We we're running that around. Splash Pack Reptiles. Uh, what's up, girl? How you doing, Keisha? Thanks for coming by. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get you on one of these one of these days, so you better get ready. 100% get ready. Uh, and I wore your shirt yesterday on my other video. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was it yesterday. Was. It, it was yesterday. Was. I don't even know if she saw it. She, she probably didn't even see it. She I didn't, come, didn't, I didn't comment it. on it because there were no albino clowns, so I didn't comment. Oh, you, you. <laughs> See what happens when you make friends? They're but mean you, you to can you. Tell, let me tell you, bro. You can, <laughs> you, can tell, you can tell that your passion behind trying to make these albino clowns is something serious because you can tell you were sad in that video. I know. I was so sad. Like, I was trying tell. to not show so, it. I was trying to be strong. So, so I, I do feel for you, and I cannot wait until you hit it just to put that out there. Thank um, you. Well, what, what so the also real quick and I'm not trying to take over your show. Tell me to shut the hell up if you got to. But oh, I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but the um my intro is changed. So it's still the same visual, but it's different music. Um oh yeah. Not and it's not so I don't know if you remember me telling you about the little crazy the little foreign yeah. gangsters that tried to rap over the beat <laughs> and copyrighted the beat or some crap like that. So I had to change it. I changed okay. it. I hope it's as groovy as the last one. I know how Desert Python is gonna let me know if it is or not. So you know he is. Um, you also, know he is. Shout out! Shout out! So my wife is in the chat. You skipped over her comment. So oh, I what you said? Oh, she said, "Hey, that. I'm sorry, live, wifey. I live that with was my phone. So, yeah, <laughs> you make sure that's all situated because you don't need to be sleeping on the couch. Uh, make sure that's situated. I'm For sorry. Sure. She said, "Hey," with two eyes. Well, I said two and put three up. I'm dyslexic. It's okay. It's okay. She said, hey, with three Y's. Um, also, three shout out to Keisha. Um, can you block Philip for the show? He's talking about team both. We're not going to. <laughs> um, nah, Philip is in here. What <laughs> percent He in here. What's up, Lone Wolf Reptile? Sex is coming through Monarch all day. Oh, but so also Ultramel, too. Uh, let, I'm all let, me address, let me address, let me address <laughs> Lone Wolf, too. It is 212. <laughs> it's not 212. It is 212. <laughs> okay? 212. What's February, up, Grace Reptiles? Thanks for coming through. Reptiles. Okay? 212. <laughs> it's my birthday. Uh, just one more exotics. Thanks for coming through. Samson, what's Samson, up? Samson, what's up, bro? Grace Main Squeeze, up, Reptiles. Uh, uh, what did you say? Hello, eh? Who else is saying they had a penguin on their head today? <laughs> the penguin. I don't even know what happened with this penguin. What happened with this penguin? Or oh, pigeon. I misread that. What happened with this pigeon? The pigeon landed on your head? I forget. I forgot to put the stuff in there. It landed on your head? When did this happen? <laughs> oh, Samson playing. He said two, one, two. <laughs> two, one, two. I'm good. All good. Watch it. I've been slack. You have been slack because you got fire over there. You ain't showing nobody. You've been Who doing that? it on Instagram. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, she she man. been putting on Instagram, but she got some some hey, heat. No comment. Some heat. That's a, no comment. She some got, heat. Super, she got super heat loaded. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me let me not get too wrapped up in these comments and get to the show. 
So first up, we got to ask our first question. Since Rashad is a returning guest, he has different questions, people. So I, I made different questions, and we're going to talk about his other reptiles besides his ball pythons. So Make if you're hoping for ball pythons, this live is not for you, but don't leave. Watch it all the way through. Enjoy some other reptiles. Uh, <laughs> here we go. First question. What was the first reptile that wasn't a ball python that you got? A bearded dragon. Um, bearded dragon? <laughs> Why yeah. you say it like that? A bearded dragon. I don't know. You said, it, I, you said it like that guy, that kid that had his face uh, painted as a skeleton. And he was like, what's your favorite animal? He was like, turtle. Turtles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my, my first animal, it was a bearded dragon, bro. Um, okay. I I always wanted one, but now that I have one, I want to give it back. Like it. So let me let me tell you. So our our bearded dragons cool, absolutely. They're great animals. But what I can't deal with is they poop every day. Like it's not it's not like a regular thing. It like every day they're pooping. I get tired of it. I guess oh, wow. real quick every day. See you you don't got you don't got um taint it with the snakes because they don't poop but once maybe a uh, month or every other month so you've been kind of i tainted is not the word i was looking for i can't think of the word i was thinking of but um somebody will let me know the word i'm trying to say but yeah uh <laughs> oh there you go period of, so what made you get a bearded dragon so they I, they, they, like I said, they are cool animals. His nails are sharp as all get out. But yeah. <laughs> they, are, they are cool animals, bro. Like, they are great animals. They just, like I said, the only thing I don't like about them is that they poop every single day. And every single day, he poops. Um, but otherwise, like, they're great animals. They're cool to just hang out with. Um, okay. The colors are amazing. He's going to climb his way up to my hat in a second. And mm -hmm. uh, I know what he's about to do, so, because he always does it. He he's uh -oh. gonna he's gonna make his way to the top of my hat and just sit there. Really? Yep, that's what oh, he did. That is kind of cool. But he um, I mean, this guy, I had him since he was, I don't know, as big as a small iPhone. Like he, I didn't have him at the baby <laughs> feet, but I had him like right before the end. Have <laughs> we got to the point where we're comparing sizes by iPhones? Hey, like it was generations of iPhone. My view, so that's all I had to compare it with. I don't know. Oh wow! Oh wow! So main squeeze raises pigeons. He raised multiple pigeons or one pigeon, and apparently got out and it flew on his head. Oh yeah, uh, Samson does have a monitor. He has like a couple monitors now. Yeah, he's got, like, he got a few. He, he's, he got a couple. He shifted focus. He, Which did, cool. he definitely did. Man, that that man went from boas to green tree pythons, <laughs> ball pythons. Now he got monitors. Next, he's gonna be raising komodos and shit. He did switch focus, uh, but he said they puppy dog tame. I wanted a monitor at one point, but I know they get big. Um, just like I wanted an anaconda, but they get big. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, splash pack. And pack pythons two pack, killing it. That that means y'all need to do a show. Did you I mention to be alive? Did I mention mm -hmm. you should block them for this show? <laughs> <laughs> My I love Philip. I love Philip. It was great. Oh, if they shit every week, then nah, I'm good. I'm good, Dan. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Spoiled. That's the word. Spoiled. Thank you. Thank you. Spoiled. You got spoiled with the snakes. Pooping once a um, once a month, once every other month. Now you you just ruined, you just ruined. Um, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. So so the Sumatrans. I don't I don't have a Sumatran, but I do have a regular blood python, and they, yeah, they poop. It takes forever for them to poop. Forever. It takes forever. Forever. Okay. They had that the metabolism is so slow, which I will not show that blood python on this live today. He said no. he can't take him out, he can't take him out right now. I won't, Actually, he can't take him out. See, he said, I won't. Not, not that I, I can't. Was about I, to, won't. I was about to say he was in shed, so he wasn't looking his greatest. I was trying nope. to save you, but he was like, Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna you, take him out because he's a biter. You don't have to shoot, he's not, he's not coming out. 
Great. Thank oh, you wow. so much. This is this is my guy. He doesn't like my wife, but he loves me. Oh, love it's crazy. Yeah, I had a I had a lizard. I had a iguana that I got from a neighbor who used to blow blow weed smoke in the iguana's face. So iguana was always high, but it also started to hate men. So she couldn't have no men could be around it except for me. It got attached to me. Used to call it Star. So I end up keeping the iguana and had her for another like 10 years before she passed away. Star was really cool. She started to become a dick towards the end of her lifespan, but she was a really cool iguana. Uh, I like I've had other reptiles before I had snakes. I've had turtles. I've had a lizard. Like I caught a wild lizard and kept it, fed it crickets. It lived mm -hmm. for like five years. I don't even know what kind of lizard it was, but I had it. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm trying to get through some of these comments. Two back in the chat. Uh, maybe for me. About what? Oh, she got them rats. Oh, let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to. You guys, you guys are on today, commenting a lot, and I greatly appreciate you guys coming through. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's Y'all in here. See, Bring this is what party. I was worried about. I was worried about his getting too many comments and I wouldn't be able to read him so fast. Bring bring the party. Gotta love it. Uh, I'm trying to get back to the top where I can start saying, okay, THC Exotics, thanks for coming through. Keno Smith, thanks look, for look, coming look. through. Go. Emerald monitors are dope as fuck. Okay. I like Emerald Tree Boas. I had an Emerald Tree Boa. I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen an Emerald uh, monitor, to be honest with you. I'm be a hundred percent with you, hundred percent with you. Need to get you. I'm not. I'm. I'm not getting any more. I already got a red tail boa. I don't need a Doomba berry. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> oh what, bro? Uh, that's the thing. I've heard it said a lot, but I've never actually said it. So it's 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 my dyslexia. It's coming out a lot more doing these live shows because it's a it's a lot harder to stop. And record over what you said when you messed up, and I can't do that. Duma, uh, how you pronounce it? Dumeros, bro. Dumero, hey, bro. Is it? <laughs> live your truth, bro. Hey, hey, Dumeros, bro. Live your. Hey, I don't care what nobody. Hey, live your truth. What call hey. it whatever you like to. We know what you mean. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a Debo. So I can't get a Debo because. Uh, I already got a red tail bow, and she she's a handful at a time. I wish you would like comments here. I, that would be hilarious. Hey, Dre, oh. Dre, Dre said you got something on your arm, bro. What I got on my arm? <laughs> now you talking oh, about me. <laughs> we got Kundalini Serpents in the building, Dre. What's up? Thanks for coming through. Also, thanks for sponsoring the episode. Did anyone see the Alex? I ain't watch Loki. I'm behind on Loki. So no Loki spoilers in the comments. I'm not reading anything that says anything about Loki. I'm 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 on episode two. I gotta catch up. Don't you say nothing. <laughs> I feel like you're about to say something about Loki. Don't you say nothing, Rashad. <laughs> I haven't uh, watched it. Okay, you haven't watched it. Did you yeah, watch uh Falcon and Winter Soldier? Did you watch that one? Yeah, I finished it. Okay, okay. That was fire. I loved it. Uh check your phone. Yeah, I see you caught you text me. I'm in the middle of live, you can't be texting me. <laughs> it was just me pictures. Um let me get through some more of these comments before we get to the next questions. Uh, ridiculous pipe, ridiculous reptiles. What's up? Thanks for coming through. I'm trying to make sure I shout out people when they come through. <laughs> you see Drake comment, bro? <laughs> no, I can't. I haven't seen it. Oh, you, you. <laughs> I just saw it, and your sponsorship has been revoked. It has been revoked. Oh, I'm going to go see uh, Black Widow maybe Saturday. So, Wiz Constrictors, thanks for coming through, but don't say nothing about Black Widow. I know it's got a, it's got a, it's a Marvel movie. Of course, of course, it has a post-credit scene. All of them do, uh, but don't say nothing. I'm joking. Sure, I'm joking. I'm looking at you differently right now, but uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't seen a single episode. Okay. Uh, oh, so uh, yeah, I seen Black Widow. Okay, don't say nothing about Black Widow. T uh, H C exotics. I don't say nothing. I'm seeing it tomorrow. But uh let me get back to my hosting duties to get on to question <laughs> number two. Because we having a ball. That's what happens sometimes. You get carried away with people, hey, you get joking. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing. 
love it so next question what is something you added to your youtube channel after you started Ooh, um wow yeah so, yeah Thought I, am, I am i am extremely i'm i'm extremely particular about what i'm willing to show to the public um okay so i kind of pre-think about all those things yeah gotcha. i know so i have like some videos where the lighting's kind of sucky um and it's just because i was simply rushing to get a video out just trying to stay consistent with delivering a video every week but now now lighting is going to be everything um because gotcha. i do it looks bad um so i am paying more attention to my lighting because it's crazy because i shoot video and photography all the time so i uh -huh. should know, i i should know better and i sometimes i just don't is if i'm rushing or whatever the case may be but um the pat this video the video that i posted on monday uh this video that's coming this coming monday and the video of the breeder tour that i'm doing is going is lit so we, we okay. lit. What's up, Royal Business Reptile Sex are coming through. What's happening? Just a What's heads up, I am doing a thousand subscriber giveaway with in conjunction with Royal Royal Business Reptiles. We're giving away a VPI Xanthic spinner that is 50% pos uh pie male. So all you gotta do Woo! to enter, well, all you gotta do to, before we get the giveaway is hit me hit a thousand subscribers. We're at 893, somewhere around there. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you know at least 100 people, send them my channel and tell them to hit the subscribe button so we get there a little faster. And then we'll put out the video once we hit 1,000 and do the whole giveaway. And you, that'll be the video you watch and all that stuff to get into the giveaway. Let me go create Let's like let me go create like eight YouTube pages so I can just <laughs> subscribe so I can be entered like eight times. Let me go do that. If, if if a that is cheating, but if I can't figure out his shoe, unless you start naming it like two one two two twelve exotics, then I I figure it out as you. But yeah, if you do it a different way where I can't figure out you, I can't punish you. That's just that, I, it. that that is a good giveaway though. Uh, wife, <laughs> if you're still watching this, can you go subscribe to this channel? <laughs> when I I have yet to get into any exantic projects, I was trying to wait on my boy. Amani from Nubian Exotics. Uh, he's got some Xanax stuff going on, and I'm just oh, waiting. Oh, he do. I'm just waiting. He Pace do. He, he worked with um, VPI Xanthic and G Stripe, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a VPI Xanthic too, but you already say you don't get yours from. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Flex and Pythons, thanks for coming Flex through. Flex Pythons. Go you. dog. What's up, bro? Appreciate it. Go uh, dog. What else? Gray's reptiles. What's up? Right, man, let me tell you. So, I love Gray. I love Gray's channel. Um, yeah, I love Gray's channel. And Gray's been popping out some clutches, bro. <laughs> like, has he been popping? I know he had his first clutch. I seen that first clutch video of the season in the past. In the past year and a half, two years, bro. Gray has been dropping some heat. Has he? Some heat. I know. I know he was heavy in the hurricane. He got that hurricane mail, put him to everything, which I was like, touche. I would have did the same thing. Gray got you know, hurricane, you know, Batman. He killing it over there. Uh, Black Widow is hot. <laughs> See, Ron, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Stop it. <laughs> uh, Flex and Python Simpson. Taz Exotics, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming through. Go Gators, no. Oh, he said the, uh, he pooped on you. <laughs> L Herp Reptiles, what's up? Thanks for coming through. I once again forgot to send you the rat dimensions. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, DM me just to what's send up? me a reminder. Because I forgot. Somebody, Taz said the uh, bearded pooped on you. Did it poop nah, on man. you? He good. He good. He just chilling. Okay. Here, two on two, same mindset. He has same mindset. Uh, sorry, I'm terrible at getting through these comments. Y'all are doing an awesome job commenting so fast, so much to read. <laughs> I this is a problem I'm glad to have. Hard to get through comments as fast. 
That is such a great giveaway. Yes, it is. Shit, say less. Already subscribed. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, may you look. Ah, he got you. He got you. He got you. It's a dad joke. May oh, you look. Got you. Poop. Oh, I think uh, I think Pablo. I'm trying to get everybody that just knew at least say hey. They came through. Say thank you, Pablo. What's up? Thanks for coming through. Oh yes, sir. That's my guy, Pablo. That's, that's my boy. guy. That's my okay. boy. Appreciate you coming through. Appreciate the love. Showing the live. DW Exotics. Thanks for coming through. He's gonna show the carpet python. Uh, he already told me that was the one he's gonna show. He's gonna put the gloves on. So, oh, yeah. so let's get let's get back to some questions. Let's go. Uh, uh, I think that's everybody that's new in here. Okay, yeah. Sorry if I missed any of your comments, but you guys are going so fast, which I appreciate. I love that you guys are commenting. This makes this live even more important. I forgot what question I'm on. Okay, no, I know what question I'm on now. Uh, do you freehand or use a hook with your reptiles? So... Bob pythons, I only typically will use a hook if I'm pulling eggs or if I am, um, like, if I know they're food aggressive. Okay. I'll, I'll go in and tap them. Um, the only thing I truly use a hook with are my boas, the blood python for sure, and then the carpet python just to get her out. Once I get her out, she's pretty cool, but trying to get her out is the, the hassle. I might be able, she's already out of her hide tonight, so I might be able to get her out pretty quick. Okay. Um that makes sense. Do you so what about uh um your other reptiles? I know you have a a blood python. Do you use it with the blood? Bro, I use I show them gloves. I want to see them gloves. I know you just got these gloves and you were super geek. You was like these are bite proof. I can handle them all good. <laughs> he going to the head. He's uh, 100% cool. He's he going to make his way there. <laughs> He's going to make his way there. But so you got the hooks and gloves for sure. Okay. For so sure. for the people in the chat, what gloves are those and where did you get them? Pet Fusion. Pet, Pet Fusion. Fusion. Um, I got them from Amazon. They are 20 bucks, Um, but they are, they are puncture proof. Uh, scratch resistant, all that stuff, and they work great, and they they fit relatively good. So it's not like your hands are are bulky feeling when you're trying to hold okay. on to the reptile. So, okay. so we got a, a quick question in the chat. Question: What's the bet? What's better to have a, a visual recessive male or a visual recessive female? I'm a, I'm always gonna say visual recessive male. Um, only mm -hmm. only reason only reason is because males grow up. And are they sexually mature so much faster than females? Um, and that's truly with any species. So if you have, if you have, a, I rather and plus two, I rather spend less money on a het female from a reputable breeder, and you know get a visual powerhouse male and spend that money on because I can also throw that male to multiple females. True. My banana con gave me five clutches this year. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a positive. That male can sire multiple clutches a lot sooner than that female can sire one clutch. Um, which would give you the ability to pay that male off and start to get into profit of that male. 100%. Also, to build up your het army for that male. One hundred percent. Which, and and another way to think of it. You can build up a head army for that male, and in two years, you might not even be using that same male. You might find a better male with more codoms on top of that visual. Now you have more codoms going into these het who should be codom het females that are up to size and ready to breed. So yeah, I, I have to agree with you. Um, male is the way to go, hundred percent. Splash bleeds male is the way to go. Absolutely. Uh, Samson says female is the way to go. So, uh, uh, I, Samson, give your reasons in less than a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to do that in, in the chat, but if you can, less than a paragraph, let us know why you feel a female is a better way to go. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got the 66% heads that sometime prove out. They're worth the gamble if you have a good eye on some some heads do have a a tail. Either you got head pies that usually have those ringers or those track marks. Track marks aren't always a hundred percent, but it's a good thing to go or buy head. when you're buying 66% heads. Uh, I don't know where he at right now. <laughs> <laughs> if it's visual, everything yeah, as a visual, everything would be hundred percent hat. Yeah. Uh I, I think he was talking about picking up. 66% hats with a visual mail. I, I might be putting words in his mouth, but that might be just me. Uh, females are a long-term investment. They are. They 100% are, and I 100% agree with you. Uh, if you're doing, honestly, if you're doing a recessive project, your best bet is to get a visual mail and het females. Multiple het females. Two to three, if if it's possible, and if it's a double res double visual recessive project, you should get a, a visual het male and an opposite visual het female. So if that makes sense, I know that may not make sense, but I think that made sense. <laughs> so Rashad is getting his carpet python out. Let's check this girl out. This is one of his other reptiles. You see, he's working the gloves. He used the hook, and she is beautiful. She yes. looks she's amazing. She's probably the best looking snake I got, bro. Oh, wow. um, outside of, outside of the blood python, um, I just love one. I love black and yellow. That's one. Okay. And two, like I said, they are just. She's an amazing species, bro. Um, she, as you see, like when she's out, she's just looking around. She's cool. Like she's not. Yeah. She's not in strike mode. But getting her out is the. That's the, the biggest point. That's the biggest problem. Um, so, but as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, I had the same thing with my um, green tree python. He was a dick inside his closure. Moment I got him out of his enclosure, kind as be. Would just crawl all over me, hang out, chill. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. I love this girl. Um, and I had her since she was, I mean, literally started feeding. Like, once she started feeding, I got her. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Yeah, 1 in 16 with double hats. Um, I have been, I don't know, what is it? I think, is that, I think it's 1 in 32 with double hats. Is it 1 in 16? I don't know. I don't. I I'm terrible at the um, calculation of the probability of hitting animals. Uh, I always use uh, what is it? Ball Python genetics. That YouTube the calculator. Yeah. Yeah. I use that to go by. That's how I get through it. One hundred percent. I look at you. She all up on the camera. She want camera time. Now that that's what I, she is. Now she's a very curious snake. They're very curious animals. So she's gonna she's gonna move forever, but. The fact okay. that she, like I said, the fact she's super calm. Like I've been working with her, so. Great. Our super dwarf rect reticulated is the same way. Okay, so I know my um, my red tail boa. Yeah, red tail boa. I had to think that I said that right. Uh, my red tail boa, when she gets out, she's super cool. I've had her since she was like a month old. And only time she gets really aggressive is when it's time to eat. If yeah. you if she smells rat, she goes into straight feed mode and just kills. Like I've had her hit her tub multiple times because I was feeding and she wasn't getting um to eat that day. Right. Even right. though she had already ate, so she was ready. I was like, No, you're not eating right now. Chill out. She was going in. She was ready to eat. I'm thinking about getting a pair at Grace. Getting a pair of what? Uh, Lone Wolf, let me know what you get in a pair of. Probably double hits. Like I said, Greg got some heat over there, man. Does he guys? I gotta <laughs> check out. I gotta check out a shine. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. All the other YouTubers, I've been slacking on videos. Um, I've been busy at work and with the kids. I'm trying to catch up on videos and I'm trying to comment on videos so y'all know I've been there. 
because I appreciate y'all coming by my channel, checking out my stuff, and the only right for me to go check out your stuff and uh, comment on your stuff. Exactly. So I'm trying to get back on top of that. So, uh, you hush up, you because I've I've only seen two comments on my videos from you, maybe more. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, like yeah you you don't you don't comment that much on videos either too. So, but I watch. <laughs> But I, watch. I watch it too. I watch it at um, work. I, I got to put the quotations just in case work is watching this. I just know you're lying. He's getting mad. Wow. Thank you, Lone Wolf. Uh, did he say what she was getting? Oh, I might have missed it. I'm thinking about getting a pair. Head to head is 25% visual. Okay. Uh, TCH THC Exotics asks, How long have you had your uh carpet? L literally, like she had five meals and she was mine, so she she's a she's a little over a yearling now. Okay. Um, and as you can see, like some folks they get a carpet and they be like full grown in like a year. Like, no, I feed her appropriate sized meals once a week. I don't, okay. overfeed, I don't overfeed her because I want this girl to be around for the long haul. She's not for breeding. She's literally just a pet. Um, but it, it would like say if I wanted to breed, I do want her to be healthy if I ever decide to make that choice, although I'm probably not. Okay. Oh, geez. so 50, I, I got good odds on my clown to heck clown. I got pretty much 50-50 on that eye. So, so yeah that that makes sense so i'll speak on that too so um the my pastor lesser head clown last year she laid me six eggs five of them were clowns and it was a visual to hit parent mm. so i murdered the odds last year so yeah you killed those odds this year, those are really good odds this year i did a hit to hit parent um so, and my head, head parent this year was the Pastel Lester head clown to the spot and head clown. Okay. So. Yeah. Did, did she lay her clutch yet? Yep. Nine eggs. Nine eggs. Nine eggs. Nine, nine eggs. I'm trying to figure out what gives you the best outcome. Oh, let me see if this girl is actually. Nope. Still not dropped. Um, the best outcome on eggs. Like I've 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 had a female that's twenty five hundred grams um, lay almost eight eggs, mm -hmm. but then I had a female that was like seventeen hundred grams lay almost six eggs, but then I had a female that was two thousand grams lay four eggs. It's I'm trying to see where is usually the egg count of a female depending on her size. Gotcha. So last year, um, I didn't expect her to lay. Uh, yeah, I think I want boa as well, so it can eat bigger ass. Yeah, I, I'll pull out my. I'll pull out one of my boas in a second. I ain't gonna pull the other one out because he's still in quarantine. Yeah, I, L her. I think he just started breeding his own rats, so that makes sense. He average. You breed your own rats too, don't you? Um, I have two colonies, but I don't really say I breed rats. Like they're there, they breed every now and then, but. Like, you know, I open up the tub one day and see a girl's pregnant, like, oh, okay, great. And then, you know, 10 days later, she lays me, uh, you know, 12 rats. And then two weeks later, they're gone. So, <laughs> I mean, okay. So, so unofficial breeding of rats. I got yeah. you. No Limit Royals. Thanks for coming through. What's up? What's up? Jerome, uh, what's trying up? To, trying to catch up on some of these. Uh, comments and making sure I miss nobody that came in. Uh, nope, some same happened to me with my ultra spinning six eggs and five visuals. Oh, that yeah, those are those are beating odds. I I've been getting decent odds, not great odds on my um double head pairing. Um, but I have a albino inchy head clown female. That is due to lay in another, I think, 12 days? Mm hmm What she's due, yeah. It's, oh, this is another thing. Has uh, your animals been going late this season? Like your girl's laying well past 30 days? Um, So my black pastel, 
lay on schedule. Um, she laid literally three days after she laid last year. Okay. Um, my pastel lesser head clown, she laid almost a month late. Um, the pastavi was a first time mom. The super Mojave was a first time mom. The uh, yellow belly was a first time mom. Um, the pied is a first time mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You had a lot of first time moms this season. Yeah. Uh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, Dre, he got he's gotta wear those oven mitts. Hey, uh, so you know, Dre clowning, but <laughs> hey, hey, look, let me tell you, you get tired of getting bit by this girl. I swear to God. Um, and her her bites, they hurt a little worse than ball python bites. Even even at this size, like she's not even yeah. that good. But it hurts. Like she packs a punch, bro. Okay, so yeah, Wiz Constrictor's having the same issue, uh, laying late, um, which is weird, which is weird. No snake hooks. I hear you, Dre. I don't got snake hooks. I take that bite. I take that bite. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> while you fool around, let me go ahead and hit the next question. Uh, what's the next question? I totally forgot what the next question is. Uh, what is one of your YouTube goals? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. Um, I'll say this. I don't have a YouTube go. Okay. Um, and I, for what? That's how I look at it. For what? Um, okay. If I'm going to put out content, I'm going to put out content. I'm going to enjoy the content that I put out. Um, and to me, it's just another social media outlet. And that's, that's just what I look at it as. I don't take social media serious. Um, I take, and that's why I always joke on social media. Like I'm all, yeah. I'm always clowning on social media. Um, and, and that's simply because I don't take it serious. Um, okay. so if I ever get to a point where I take social media serious, it's, it's like, whatever. Now, everything in this room, I take serious. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. But, but the aspect behind it, I don't really have goals. I just like to release content. It's fun for me. Um, and I just want to keep it that like, I can care less if I'm ever monetized or whatever the case may be. I can care less. Understandable understandable cmc reptiles thanks for coming through appreciate what's going you on? what's happening what's happening could one of your goals since you say you don't care about the youtube per se is it just you producing better videos could that be a goal it well and uh, yes so bam got him yeah got him yes but <laughs> but but realize so realize that that's not a it's not a youtube goal it's that's a personal goal when it comes down True. to that's a personal goal when it comes down to my skills in itself. So my boy Pablo, that my boy Pablo, that's on here, he's he's a director. Um, okay. And I've worked with him on some projects and stuff, and um, I get tips from him, um, you know, to to help me out in my day to day. Um, I, what I need to do is upgrade my equipment for real. That's that's all I need to do is upgrade my equipment. Understandable, understandable. I do need to upgrade my equipment. Uh, I I would like to eventually invest into a camera. When you guys first started, your about five years. What did you start with? So here we got a question. When you guys first started your ball python collection, what did you start with, and how long before you started your YouTube? So one of these questions we've already answered. Uh, we'll answer it again because it was the first uh, interview I did with you. Uh, my YouTube has been up for Jesus. That's a good question. I think I'm going on six years, maybe seven. I think seven years. Seven years is when I started YouTube, but really, five years ago is when I really started taking YouTube a little more serious and posting on a regular basis. I was using my YouTube at first just to learn about reptiles and follow people and look at their cool stuff and be like, oh, I want that. Five years ago, I really started taking YouTube a little more seriously and posting on a regular basis, like a regular schedule and everything. Uh, my first uh, ball python in my ball python collection was a normal. It was a normal male, literally a normal male. Um, and then the next one was a male, and then a male, and then a male. And now I realized I got way too many males. <laughs> so I sold all those males and got females. Definitely, if you're about to start a collection, 
go females first. They take two years to get up to age. If you're first starting out, go females and go recessive females first. I di I disagree with that. What? Um, Explain. Explain. And I so you got you got to take his question for what it is. When do we start our BP collection? The collection could just be a collection. You don't have to breed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, you're right. So it, so it really so it really all depends what your goal is. If you want to breed, absolutely. I start with females, raise them females up, then buy you a powerhouse male and get and get going. But um, I think originally everybody when they got their BPs, it wasn't to breed. Like some people got BPs to have. Oh man, I want a snake, so let me go get yeah. a snake. Next True. thing you know, you start joining all these snake groups and shit, and you're like, oh, man, I want to breed, so let me breed. But then you go to breed, and then you're like, man, I have 13 males and no females. What am I going to do? So, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. You got a good point. You got a good point. Um, thinking outside the box on the questions. I like that. Yes, if you just get in a collection of animals that you want, go find the prettiest things you want, the things you like. It doesn't matter if they're male or female because it's what you want visually. You want to see that animal. Right. Um, if you're breeding and you're building your collection for breeding, females. Visual, recessive females first and later on by a powerhouse male. Right. Like two years after your females or a year after your females are getting, you see they're on a good growth and they're going to be ready in another year and a half. Go pie. Go buy a powerhouse male. That's the way you do it. But if you're just building a collection of beautiful ball pythons, not to breed for you to look at and enjoy, go get the beautiful ones you like. That means you don't mind spending a pretty penny on them because you're looking for them for their beauty and not for their breeding aspect. Thanks. Uh, I had one like 12, 15 late, but... I think because she was on the bottom, heat was low. Okay, that makes sense. So Splash is talking about the question we talked about earlier, females laying late this season, but that could be why her female lay late. I don't know why my girls are doing it. Well, and just like just like, uh, just like like G from Sit With a Ball Pipeline was man. talking about on the last episode, you know, he runs ambient heat. So his girls take longer to lay eggs, you know. Yeah, true. Question for both of y'all. What is the single best piece of advice that you ever got in regards to snake keeping and breeding? Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, the single best piece I got is work with morphs you are passionate about. Because the moment you're not passionate about a morph, it shows and you don't your imagination for what that morph can do and be and be put into is limited is limited yep so work with morphs you are passionate about that's why i don't have certain morphs in my collection because i'm not really passionate about them like vpi exanthic i wasn't passionate about it until i saw the spinner vpi exanthic and then i got passionate about it i also thought i hatched out a vpi exanthic clown that made me super passionate about VPI Exantic. So now that's the route I want to go with it. Work with what's your passion in that morph, and it'll definitely help you along the way. Yep, that's true. What about um, what I about can, you, Rashad? I can I can agree with that. Um, so for me, and I know it's gonna sound extremely weird, but the best the best advice I ever got when it came down to doing this was so. I know you're like what? So, like that that's that's what it was. Like so. So, you know, you you go into a thing and so and I'll tell you who gave me this advice. Albie Show from Albie Suku Reptiles. He's here in Georgia. He's a he's an older guy. He's been in the game for 30 plus years. Mm. Maybe more. Um and so it was like so. Um you know, I was like, "Do you got any of this? Do you got any of that? Everybody's working with this. Everybody's going so what do you want to work with? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What what do you want to work with? If, if that's what you want to work with, you work with it. If you want to spend your whole goddamn ball python career trying to produce a super spider, then goddamn it, you do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, but I'm just saying. True, 
True, you know, true. Or if you want to spend your whole life trying to do champagne spider or whatever, then you do it. Like, don't let anybody else take you away from whatever your end goal is. If you feel like you can go down the line with genetics and just prove out, if, if you can like eventually prove out a super spider or eventually prove out a, you know, super champagne or champagne spider or, you know, a, a spot no, a super spot no champagne, whatever. If you want to go that route, then you go that route. It's totally up to you. And don't let anybody stop you from doing it. So it is what it is. Okay. So Jimmy said he ran cooler temps that gets his girls to drop between 38 and 42 days. Uh, Samson runs 27 or 72. Dyslexic. Don't worry about me. Uh, but he has, it takes his girls longer, but they have no slugs, uh, four clutches, all good eggs. Right. These are, these are, these are interesting ways so people can adjust and change what they're doing or feel okay. What they're doing already is good, um, by other people experiences. But even with that, you still need to take the time to research and make sure you're doing what's best for your collection. A hundred percent. There's nothing wrong with taking other people's opinions on stuff and how they do stuff. Make sure you do your research before you switch everything of your stuff over to somebody else's way of doing it because it may work for them and not for you. And but, whatever is working for you, keep doing it. If you're getting successful sheds, poops, feedings, and eggs, keep doing what you're doing Yep. no matter what everybody is saying. Yep. That's one thing I had to learn when I first got into this. Is everybody going to tell you how you should be doing stuff? But at the end of the day, you need to figure out what works for what you. Works for you, facts. A hundred percent. And everybody's not going to like the way you do something. But if your animals are healthy, they're eating, they're producing, F everybody. I try not to cuss on this so much because I know I have families watching. Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> I... I Bad, I tried to not cuss. I didn't say my guests can't cuss. You, you could, you I, could, you I could probably cuss. should start putting. I might start putting a warning on my lies. Be like, hey, there might be some strong language. Just so yeah, you know. Well, just tell, just tell me, don't do it next time. I'm sorry. Okay, stop saying the s word. Yeah, and the sure. f word and the b words. For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, see, we we got all. In, I'm trying to keep. I've been keeping up with the chat, but now I'm I'm missing on the questions. So let Bro, me go back to the questions. So, hey, t- let me t- touch base on. Well, I was about to say his real name. Touch base on Lone Wolf. You know, like, <laughs> you know, he don't. He don't. He don't, he don't like nobody uh, using his name. Um, but oh, really? I didn't know that. Good. Yeah. I, I'm t- good to know. So, touch base on. Touch base on Lone Wolf, bro. As much as you go live, as much as you go live, you could have been had videos and posting it, bro. You go yeah. live like, almost every day, whether you clean or oh, Showing off, snake, uh, showing off snakes, like so, it, it should be easy for you, bro. Yeah, you be on it, you be on it. I be trying to get catch into some of them lies, but I be dealing with the kids, trying to clean some stuff, get some dinner ready. But you definitely keep doing what you're doing, Long Wolf. Uh, I would say, uh, download your stuff and start posting it on TikTok too, just to expand your social media. Oh, for sure, you never know I what happens. TikTok is blowing people up out of nowhere. So definitely, like, the key thing is you never know where somebody might become a fan of yours. So make sure your stuff is everywhere where it can be seen. For sure. 100%. All right. Uh, Did I say this one? I think I said this one. Yeah, and I said lights. Those are my lights. Okay. Okay. Um, Lighting is going to be the the key. Because, right, even even if you have, like, the crappiest camera, Uh light. The more light, the more light your camera can pull in, the better the image looks coming out of it. Okay. So um, that's a photography tip for you guys who have YouTube channels and don't understand why your shit off. Excuse me, why your <laughs> <laughs> we just why, had this conversation. Why, why your bleep always looks dark and crazy, <laughs> and then when you try to lighten it in the edit room, it it is uh it looks grainy. So the the more the more light your camera is able to pull in, the better your image is gonna look. Okay. Yeah, I I wanna I know I wanna get more overhead lights and make sure they're white. Um like not soft white, but regular white or not sunshine white, so it shows yellow, but it's just all white white. 
Right. I know that's better for your videos and pictures and stuff like that. Okay. So another right. thing, another thing that helps too, you know, a lot of people, here's people that don't have problem editing. Anybody ever pay attention to Justin Velker? His everything's white except for his snake wraps. That helps. That helps. His it floors does. are white. His floors are white. His walls are white. His ceilings are white. His it lights does. are white. It's just it's just white everywhere. So it helps out. It brings it sucks up that light. Okay. So you saying I gotta paint my room white? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yo, what's up? Patrick, welcome. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. For sure, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, and he commented on one of my videos. I meant to respond. My um, I just saw the comment like today. My bad. I got you, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Um, one hundred percent. Patrick is a he supports me um every video, which I greatly appreciate it. And he always telling me, you don't have to tell me thank you. Just keep putting out good content. And I know you tell me not to, but thank you, bro. I definitely appreciate all the love you show me, a hundred percent. And I see you got shirts. I'm gonna chop it up with you about getting one of them shirts, definitely. Cause I gotta support those who support me, and I For greatly sure. appreciate it. For uh, sure. I'm trying to hit some of these comments because we only got one question left, but I want to get some of these comments. Y'all just inspire me to edit the video. Oh yeah, I think I already got that one. F them kids. <laughs> really, really long wolf. Really. So aggressive, so aggressive. Uh, uh, Dre got a question. Let me see what he say. He gonna say something that's gonna make everybody upset. I know he is. Uh, at least he's gonna make her shots. <laughs> How do you feel? It's more potential. So what do you feel has more potential, ultra male or monarch? And in my opinion, um, only reason I'm saying slightly monarch right now because there's not a lot of monarch combos out yet ultra male has hit a lot of different combos i still haven't seen the one that makes it really really pop um i i don't know if it's gonna be desert ghost because i haven't seen a desert ghost ultra male have you seen a desert ghost ultra male yes i have does it look good yes it does <laughs> So maybe that maybe I gotta see that might that might be one that pops. But what, what how do you feel about this, Rashad? <laughs> and please give me an answer without cussing. <laughs> um no true truthfully and honestly, um like real deal is me, I'm just the ultra male fan. Um I, I like it better. I, I don't me personally, I don't think that the burgundies and monarch against the gold and monarch looks good um i just that con that level of contrast to me is ugly um okay it's like it's like seeing you know like me i like old school cars and in atlanta florida like down here in the south like dudes will put some ugly paint jobs on cars and that's what monarch reminds me of an ugly paint job now does it have potential absolutely um, I mean, the in the industry has been taken back by Monarch, um, but just just as the industry has been taken back by Monarch, the interest the industry has been taken back by Ultra Male. Ultra Male, I think, is to me will be a stable longer than Monarch will be. I don't think Monarch is going to be able to interact with. Um, I don't think Monarch is going to be able to interact with other genes like Ultra Male does. That's just my opinion. Okay. I understand. I understand. Um, that that yeah, I understand. I see a couple of people in the comments say uh, they feel Ultra Male is karma albino without the issues, and I can understand that thought process. I a hundred percent can understand that thought process. Um, I think it. Uh, I also wonder if it's part of the. Albino complex. I well, know they just so it it T positive. Yes. So yes. Yes. so T positive or ultra melanistic. That's where that ultra male comes from. It's an ultra melanistic animal. Just like in mm. your just like in your boas, in your in your bloods, like they have T positive animals. They just call it T positive. But truthfully, it's just an ultra melanistic animal where the uh the colors are reversed. They're 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 built 
more than they're taking away. Okay. Okay. They, they push in more melanin versus amelanistic, they take it away. So amelanistic being your just regular albino and lavender albino, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I know, like, I've never thought about those because I know that was a blood thing. I didn't realize it was in ball pythons because they just, somebody, I don't know who it is, they just came out and said that candy and toffee are the same. Are we, knew, the we, we, knew, we knew that, though. Okay, but I, least, I I assume that I, but they, I but through, through the through mm-hmm. the genetic testing with the sheds and stuff like that, they it's more of a like scientific confirmation. Okay. If that makes sense. So let's you know talk about the genetic testing with shed because I just realized people were doing that maybe like mm-hmm. a week ago. What do you know about it? So um, just and just based off watching uh, Billy's live at Mutation Creation and. Um, not no shot at Billy whatsoever. Love Billy mm-hmm. from his creation, but um, Brian from Samson Snakeatorium had had those people on weeks of uh, maybe two or three weeks prior to Billy having them on his podcast. Okay. Um, the the difference there is Billy's got a bigger following, so they're gonna know it more from there than they do from Brian. Um, gotcha. Yeah watching both of those shows what they basically explained was at the end of the day that shed is is dna so it can be mm-hmm. tested it can be tested and based on the dna that they pull from both of those things like candy and toffee they had the same dna strands the exact same uh-huh. um they're working on they're working on coral glow and banana right now even though we know it's the same yeah they're scientifically they're going to prove that it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was interesting with the sheds. And I saw um, Samson talking to Purple Passion, I think it is. They were talking about the abilities of it being able to tell you what's het for whatever recessive just from the shed which would take away the fun of trying to learn what's had by breeding, which some people enjoy that aspect of it. And I understand some people would like to know without having to spend a thousand dollars on a pos head and hoping for the best and getting proved out. I can understand both sides of that coin. Uh, It will affect our industry dramatically under hundred percent. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad as of right now, but yes, that well, information being taught and learned, it's going to be interesting down the road. I, yes and no. Um, and here's why I say that, because so let's look at some of our bigger projects that we have going. Well, not that we have, but that the industry has going on right now, per se, strength, stranger and mahogany. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people wanted to know if, if they were the or trick hurricane and blitz. Um you know, so like, I think that right there would shake the industry like seriously because right now, Trick is not so expensive. Not too mm-hmm. many people work with Blitz, and then you have Hurricane that is through the roof right now. A hurricane, yeah. <laughs> a hurricane hit, a hurricane hit Clown Mail right now is almost three thousand dollars. Yeah. So you know, it's like that's crazy. So and that's a male. So. But then you get a, a trick head clown mail, you're paying about seven hundred dollars for them. Blitz, I don't even know how much blitz costs because who do you know works with the crap? Matt from Olympic yeah. Records worked with it, but I Matt that, works I'm with not. it. Um Eco, I, I think I'm saying this name Echo right. Stanley. Echo, Echo Reptiles, he I think he works with Blitz. Okay. I think he works with Blitz. I think I caught that on that live he did with um uh, Reggie oh, from Reggie Upper Joe. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he works with Blitz. Okay, so you so, can have yeah. different lines of the same thing, correct? Uh, yes. So I think yeah. with that, with that being so, like, let's look at Desert Ghost and Enhancer. Um, they're compatible, um, but mm-hmm. to, to a lot of people, Enhancer is brighter than Desert Ghost. Like, right as a, in a single gene. That's um, what I'm seeing. Yeah. Let's look at ghost orange ghost and hypo um different lines but 
they they look to me they do look different. Orange Ghost looks different than Hypo. I don't care what nobody says. I'm gonna take your word for it because I am not a Hypo man. I liked Hypo at a point in time in Inchi, of course. I love everything right. in Inchi. But then I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to go that route. That's why I don't have any hypo in my collection. It's You're not a gene that. I'm passionate about. You that. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, maybe you'll produce something that'll change my mind and I'll have to change. So I'm looking I'm towards you to produce something. I'm certain. I'm <laughs> certain. Like this, like this coming season. This coming season? Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm going to keep my eyes open. This is a hypo. I, I mean... I have to make sure you still posting videos uh, a week from now. I'm just saying you might just go on another hiatus. I don't know. I don't know. I understand your first hiatus. I understand why. All uh, respect. I'm um, glad you're healing up. But I, it's, hey, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me get some of these comments. <laughs> I'm missing out. Uh, Sam say I'm missing out on hypo. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm not in love with hypo, but I do love DG. So um, I do want chocolate, chocolate hypo DG. Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I know Sam to show me that. So yeah. it was crazy. So I, but I've seen it in pictures, but I've never seen it firsthand. Um, so oddly enough, me and um, me, my wife, and Splash Pat, we went to a breeder's house, and okay. they showed me. A pastel chocolate DG, and you know, you know how I felt about DG, but like, yeah, I know seeing it, seeing it in person, and being able to reach out and touch and just look, bro, bro, chocolate DG is, bro, bro. yeah, uh, like not gonna lie, hypo clowns got me interested in hypos again. Cause I like the way it looked in clown. Bro, just think um, of, just think about think about the endless possibilities with hypo clown. But because think like think about it, bro. Every morph, every morph with with ghost, like think about the patterns of like a fire red stripe spot nose clown or something like like think about the pattern with hypo. Yeah. My lord. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Um Oh wow! I'm calling it now. Triple head trip VP should be called a trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, um, we're at the hour mark, so let's go ahead and hit our last question. Because I try to keep these between 45 to an hour. Um, sometimes we go over because we're having a good time. But our last question of the night for Rashad at 212 Exotics. What reptile do you plan on breeding next? I'll show you. Oh, he got, he got visual aids. I'll show you. I got a hot because, yeah. I know. I know. Uh, boom. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying what I like. All right. So I'm still working with this girl. So I gotta, I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm tip. You gotta be gentle. I understand. I understand. Boom. This is okay. the next. This is my next project. One. Oh, okay. She's striking. She feisty right now. <laughs> but this is 100% my next project. Okay. Um, boas. I want to try boas at least once. Okay. At least once. So what kind of boa is that? So this is a motley boa, 100% um, head call albino. Um, I'm trying to get her to show you. She she busy right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to show y'all a pattern. There you go. Okay, yeah, we can see it. We can see it. But yeah, she she busy right now. She she on she on super she owned. busy. Yeah, she don't she don't already struck twice. So um, I'm gonna put her up. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But she, um, I mean, she, bro, she's beautiful. And I got a male all ready to go with her. Um, I got a hypo, um, hypo 100% head call albino that um, I'll be working with. So okay. I'm in love. Damn, damn, ouch. She's strong, bro. But 
But it'd so be so about, small. So how old is she and how long before she's able to breed? So she's almost a yearling and it's going to take at least three to four years to get her. Um, okay. I, I'm, well, really four to five, like on the safe side, like some people breed boas like super early and it's mm-hmm. not good and it's not good for them. Um, she is a, also a pet, although I do want to try breeding, but um, so I want to make sure I do right by her. So four to five, yeah, I'm sure. going to say. Four to five for sure. Okay. Okay. What's up, Mains Morph? Mains Morph's in the building. Thanks for coming through. That good old Motley. Hey, as they say in Texas, you're <laughs> round, round, her, round her, round her. <laughs> you're a little late, but you always can watch the re, uh, replay of the uh, live. So no worries, bro. No worries. Thanks for coming through and saying what's up. Uh, yeah. Yo, so, so man, TAC, bro. I, 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 I don't have. <laughs> I don't have the money for Motley. <laughs> I mean, not Motley. I don't have the money for IMG. Um, if I'm spending that type of money, it's going to be on a ball python right now. Um, so what is the IMG? What's the difference? So IMG, I don't know boas. IMG stands for increased melanin gene. Um, okay. And is they are like, they start out looking, some of them come out blacker than others, but as they grow, oh. as they grow more and more, they get basically black. Um, oh, and they okay. got iridescence and stuff like that. The blackest IMG I think I've seen so far is going to be the uh, IMG Anuri, Anuristic. Um, they they get super black. Um, but so I don't, Billy has one. Let me tell you, creation. Um, Samson got one. Samson got an IMG bow, I think. Samson, you got one? Is yeah, at least, he, at least he used to. Okay. He probably sold it off to get another uh, monitor. A monitor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Well, uh, has anybody got any questions in the chat? Because I'm all out of questions. But before we hit some questions, let me go ahead and say thank you to the sponsor of this episode again. One second. We got to wait for the video play. Yes, the sponsor of this episode uh kundalini serpents go check him out on his instagram youtube he produces amazing animals he's working with the monarch g-stripe he just got some um babies from that male go check him out on his youtube babies look amazing i might be getting one uh he also works with vpi exantic clowns yes he has a whole bunch of them in the stable Produces some amazing animals, so go check out his YouTube and his uh, Instagram. Tell him I sent you. Say what's up. All that good stuff. Yes, yeah, let tap, me see. Tap into your Kundalini serpent for sure. Tap yes, into tap him. into him. Tap he, into he, him. he. We just got him to start his YouTube this year, and he is doing good. He. He's doing I, good. I was yeah. worried. He's I was worried, good. but he he he's getting his own little style going on, doing his thing, killing it, killing it. I love it when you bring out his light box and show the animals in the light box. I'm like, look at that. Look at for that. Sure, and he sure. be doing voiceovers. I got to give him props for that. I ain't never said it to him, but I like your voiceover, the way you do it. You record it, then voice. It works really good. It works really good. I might steal that from you, too, a little bit. I'm just I'm just letting you know. <laughs> uh, had to come back for a moment. Oh, this dog. Miranda, so thank you. To thank you, Miranda. You guys, you are doing a great job. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping to get a picture. I was hoping to be uh, memorializing one of Miranda's pictures. Hopefully, that still happens one of these days. Mem- um, mem- memorialize. Don't, don't judge me. You know I can't speak correctly. <laughs> you understood the words that were coming out of my mouth. My bro said memorialize. Dang. <laughs> You understood the word that was coming out of my mouth. Don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, I said what I said. Uh, uh, but let me see if anybody got any questions before we go ahead and head out. Uh, if you got a question, pop it in the comments or answer real quick. But I'm all out of my questions. We got to know Rashad a little more. Got to know more about his other reptiles. Got to learn what he might be breeding real soon. Well, not soon because that's got to grow up a little bit. But what we can expect from him down the road besides sure. ball pythons. For sure. Well, I want I want to breed I want to breed these guys too. Oh yeah, I forgot you had those. Don't bite me, bitch. 
I mean, we I mean, talk about. I mean, <laughs> hey, we just. <laughs> but the thing about this guy, he, he bites and don't let go. Oh, he one of those biters. Yeah, but he, he chill. Uh, but they they bite and don't let go. Mexican black king snakes, everybody. Uh, Mexican black king. So you plan on breeding those as well down the future? Yes, I already have a pair. So. Okay, so you all set. Yep, yep. So this should, should take about another year and a half, two years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just finished. Oh well, we we got Lone Wolf. He edited a video, so uh, did Bro, you set up your TikTok? Go set up your TikTok. I'm not. I'm not believing Leroy until he posted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't say his name, so he gonna be yelling at you. But that's not. Ain't got nothing to do with it. it. In, <laughs> until you posted Leroy, <laughs> I'm not believing. Leroy. Right. <laughs> 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 oh wow uh so two of my females before they got on fire again oh wow oh no not the government <laughs> oh, no, not the go all right so i don't see any questions in the chat so we're gonna just uh go ahead and end the live thank you all for coming once again thank you rashad for being on appreciate you bro appreciate the support appreciate you showing us the love with your bro, animals letting us get to know a little more about you, letting us see your animals, your collection, letting us see your awesome gloves <laughs> with your hooks and giving us some advice about lighting. Uh, definitely, I know I'm going to use some of that and I made you up with some more information about lighting because I think I want to do some sprucing up stuff to like have some uh, flashing lights in the background or something like that, you know, a little game-like type of uh, atmosphere in the back. For sure. Down the road, down the road. Anytime, bro, anytime. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your platform with me. Thank you for having me on. Thank you to everybody in the comments. Uh, Kino, much love to you, bro. Um, TAC, for sure. Um, I got. I think I follow TAC. If not, I, I do now. Um, I'm, TAC, I follow him on Instagram. I'm trying to get him. I, I, I've been meaning to talk to him about if he's going to have a YouTube channel. He might already have a YouTube channel. TAC, do you have a YouTube channel? Hit us in the uh, comments. Uh, if you do, I'm going to go look it up and subscribe to it because I'm pretty sure I'm not subscribed to it. I'm probably going to try to subscribe to everybody in here, which I'm pretty almost almost are. I can't talk. Don't listen to the words I'm saying. Do Kino had a channel? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, you need to start a channel. Tell Rashad, then he's going to tell me, and then I'm going to subscribe to it. Because, yeah, I think um, Pack Python said it. Even if you have two snakes, start your YouTube channel. Start your journey now. Let people see you grow. People love to watch people grow in yep. their hobby. Yep. It is amazing. It is, the, it is the human thing of seeing somebody doing something new and seeing them grow from where they were to where they are now. That is a human experience people love to watch. Yep, for sure. So, I tell everybody every time they ask me, like, should I start a YouTube channel? I'm worried I'm not going to be able to have this. I'm worried I'm not going to. It's like, do what you have. People will enjoy what you have and grow with you. That's the biggest thing. The only thing you have to worry about is your audio. People will forgive visually. They'll forgive if it doesn't look the greatest. But if it sounds horrible, people will shut that off real fast. You see how I bleep myself and I didn't cuss? I'm just saying it's not that hard, Rashad. It's not that hard. <laughs> I don't have any videos up. Okay, so that's that's what I'm saying. You need to po post a video. You could do, here's your first video. Hey guys, THC Exotics here. Take a look at my collection and show off your males. In the next video, show off your females. And then the third video, let us know what you might be pairing together and what are the things you're trying to produce. Three videos right there in the can. There you go. Right there. 100%. Yep. 100%. And you don't even have to get on camera. I know a lot of people don't like being on camera. I am not great on camera. I know it seems like it because I do just an excellent job. But I am horrible on camera at times. You're going to mess up. And people want to see those messed up. That makes you human. Nothing wrong with it. But let me get off my soapbox. Thanks, everybody, for coming through. Greatly sure. appreciate you. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. Uh, until next time, uh, 
Peace.